violin Q and A today. So, woo, you. So Millie, what was the biggest change for you after you left the Love Island villa? Um, when I left the Love Island villa, coming out it was really crazy. So many people recognizing me. Mm. Um, and you know adjusting to that but it was a good change for me i really liked you know meeting people yeah. and like everyone was always happy so it's kind of nice to be around all these happy people all the time mm -hmm. who was your favorite person to spend time with on the show so um i had a few favorites so i had taylor and amelia of course they were my little girl power crew and then i felt like i could always confide in Justin and you know obviously I was really devastated when he left mm -hmm. um, so for the first half it was basically Justin and Taylor and the second half it was like Taylor and Amelia. If you were to go on Love Island again what do you think you'd do differently? If I was to go on Love Island again um, I think you know I love my experience and I wouldn't change any of it but I think I'd go in more open-minded mm -hmm. um, you know because I realized by being in there getting to know people isn't just a quick one second it's a long process yeah. and I think if we all sort of gave each other more of a chance in the beginning there would have been more friendships and relationships Definitely. kind of forming so yeah. I think that's something that um, should be taken into any kind of life thing anyway yeah yeah do you think it was hard readjusting to normal life after Love Island or did you find that quite easy I think readjusting to normal life was fine but it was just there was so many different things available to me mm. and so I chose not to go back to what my normal life was. It was my decision um, to say, okay, well I'm going to explore all the opportunities that Love Island has given me. Mm -hmm. um, I still do work with dogs and stuff like that, but just not as often as I used to. Yeah. Do you have any new projects you're working on or anything exciting that you can tell us? Um, well, at the moment I'm sort of putting all my focus into sort of my passions and at the moment I'm just studying at TAFE, doing my vet nursing and hoping to eventually have my own kind of business to do with animals and charity and stuff like that. So that's all a big work in progress. But first things first, I've got to finish my vet nursing. Do you think there's any brands that you'd really want to collaborate with or anything you'd really want to do? Um, I'm open to any brands that want to collaborate as long as they're, you know, cruelty free and mm -hmm. um, follow my values and morals. and their brands that I would actually use. Mm -hmm. So I don't have anything in particular that I've got my eye on, but I'm open to brands that approach me and then I check them out and I actually try their clothes and believe in makeup mm -hmm. myself. What is your favorite thing about working as an influencer? I think my favorite thing about working as an influencer is being able to express myself um, through my work. Mm -hmm. And you know, you have so many opportunities to go to certain places and do things that I usually wouldn't have. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, it's definitely crazy, and but you get to experience so many cool different things. Cool. What is your biggest piece of advice that you give to Love Islanders entering the villa the next season? Um, to all the people entering the villa to the next season of Love Island, I would definitely just say be yourself. Because in there for however, like even one day in there feels like, it feels like a week. So you can't pretend to be someone else. And if people don't like you in there, then who cares? Mm -hmm. You know, there's going to be so many people in Australia that do like you, that are watching, and, and there's going to be so many more people coming into the villa, and you know, relationships and dynamics change all the time. So if you're just true to yourself, and you leave and you're holding your head high that you were true to yourself, then I think that's the best thing that you can do mm -hmm. going into that villa. So we've got some questions from Neon followers, and the first one is, how would you describe yourself as a movie title? Um, <laughs> probably Finding Dory, <laughs> because I'm always really lost and confused and away with the fairies. Love so that. people are probably always trying to like find out where I'm, where I'm at. Because <laughs> <laughs> Where's your favorite place to go on a night out? Um, I'm a typical like manly girl and I still haven't grown up so I go to the five at home and it's so bad because everyone there is like 18 and I'm like 25 and you know I always like try and do ridiculous dance moves and like crump and stuff and I can't crump and like who even crumps oh my God. and I literally always feel like I can't show my face there again but I do over and over and over again yeah yeah what made you decide to start wearing cruelty free makeup or um well I was like uneducated on the matter that there was actually still animal testing with makeup. And then I started looking into it and I was like, oh, if they put foundation on a dog, like, you know, 
what does that mean? And then I looked into it and it was actually a lot more than that and it was a lot more pain and suffering for animals. Mm -hmm. um, so it wasn't just, you know, simply putting the makeup on them, it was very invasive kind of things to them. I thought, why would I want to be part of something like that when it's just something that makes you look good? None, no amount of looking good can justify in my, in my books um, the cruelty. So, and then I realized, oh my God, there's so many makeup brands that you can use that don't test on animals and they're just as good or even better. What are your favorite cruelty-free makeup brands? I really like Stila mm -hmm. and I really like Tarte. I love Tarte and they, they're so, like, you know, cruelty-free. Yeah. They're just amazing. So I really, really like them. So some are, you know, some are not vegan, but they just don't test on animals. So that's good. So you just need cruelty free. Cruel do they have to be vegan? It doesn't have to be vegan. Okay. Um, because I'm not a vegan. Okay. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Um, so I feel like that's a bit contradictory yeah. of me. Yeah. But I prefer it to be vegan. Yeah, because it's more. And most brands that are cruelty free are vegan. Okay. But some have like honey in them or yeah. stuff like that. Yeah. 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 Okay. Nothing would have like actually a chunk of steak in there. Yeah. <laughs> you know? <laughs> it, wouldn't, it wouldn't really be that just beneficial. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. I'm just gonna do a few quick rapid fire questions. Yeah. If you were an emoji, which one would you be? <gasps> I'd be the winky one, like that one, but only because like I always like when I'm sh like taking a photo, my face goes like that, you know? Yeah. Like I, I try and act natural and I'm like, and then also I accidentally <laughs> always send it to people inappropriately, like, you know, brands like blah blah, I try to do a smiley face and it's like a winky and yeah. you can't take it back. <laughs> what old person thing do you do? Um, I do a lot of old people things. So. I'm very like into checking that things are off and you know, you know how like old people are very pedantic with that kind of stuff? Yeah. yeah, that's what I'm like. So I'm always like, is the stove off? And I'm very forgetful. Mm. So like I'll be like halfway like down the road like, oh my god, I've definitely forgotten that. Finding Dory really is your movie. Yeah. yeah. But you know what I do now before I leave the house? <laughs> I record it all. You film yourself? No, I record everything. So I record like, I'll be like, stove is off, <laughs> door is locked. Because then I don't have to, like, and then I don't even think, oh, did I do it? I don't even look back on the video. So I have, like, literally 50 videos being, like, stoves off, doors off, bees fed, Delilah's in her bed. You know, like, everything is fine. Do you think aliens exist? I do. I actually do. Yes. I they really are. think they exist. And I literally think that I will be the one that they come to the house. Totally. And, like, somehow Beamed find up. a key. Yeah. yeah. And we'll be like, hey. Because because I actually think about it all the time. Yeah. And like I'll see a plane and I'll convince myself that it's a UFO. Like, yeah, a UFO. <laughs> and then people will be like, that's a plane, it's got a flashing light. I'm like, but UFOs do. But like, you don't get it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. You know? Do you go around wearing like, the tin foil? I haven't gone that far yet. Okay. I'm not that creative. Mm. But if someone was to give me one, I'd probably get involved. <laughs> Wearing tin foil for someone. <laughs> What's your secret talent? I can hula hoop. Really well? Yeah. Like so like ages? Not like, you know, on my arm and stuff, but on my waist and I can hula hoop and walk around with it and drink and I've eat. I've never learned how to hula hoop. What's the secret? It's not anything to do with like your hips. It's like more about like up here. Really? Yeah, I, th I think. I just got used to it because some girl at school used to be really good at it and I was like, can you teach me? And she's like, no, you have to learn to do it yourself. Oh. And I, then I did. Showed her. <laughs> but, uh, so yeah, then... That's my, that's my hidden, probably most useless talent. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching our Q&A. Be sure to check out Millie's Instagram. At Millie1993. And give us a subscribe. Bye. <laughs>